Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Kirsty and I make psychic and spiritual content over on this channel. So if that's your kind of thing, please do stick around. If you are not new here, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again today. So today I thought it would be really interesting <laughs> to read on Cara Delevingne because I've just recently seen her popping up everywhere again. She's been kind of like MIA for a while, like not really in the public eye. And I thought, you know what, she'd be a really interesting character to dive into her energy. My intention for this reading is that you may see yourself in the person that I'm reading for and understand that we are all human, we all go through the same things, and that maybe you might be experiencing some of what the person I'm reading for is, and you can take lessons from the reading to help you grow and evolve and we can all grow and evolve together so if you do enjoy this reading please do hit a lovely thumbs up please do subscribe if you're new to the channel i'd love to for you to join us and yeah today i'm doing clarity and guidance spread you can book this reading with me over on my website www.kirstielewis.com but let's get into reading for cara delavine's energy so i usually tap into the energy of the person first and then we'll go into the cards the energy around Cara Delevingne at the moment is a little bit of like a head spin. I feel a bit dizzy and I feel a bit kind of like constantly on the go. This is someone who, the word that really comes through for Cara Delevingne is avoidance. I'm in avoidance always. This is not someone who, see I'm even talking very, very fast. Let me just rein that in spirit because that's her energy. She's got a very fast paced, busy energy. This is not someone who likes to be still. This is not someone who likes to not be busy. This is someone who likes to constantly be in the go, on the go, sorry. And I feel that this is because she is in avoidance of self. Spirit is making me feel that even the way Cara Delevingne behaves, it's like complete avoidance of self. So, spirit draws me back to Cara Delevingne's upbringing. Cara Delevingne comes from a very privileged background. She comes from, uh, I believe, Belgravia in London, which is, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it is the richest borough in the city of London, which is one of the richest cities in the world. She comes from a very, very privileged background. And spirit is bringing me back to her background, and I just see her surrounded by very one-dimensional um, people who all think the same, who are all on a very materialistic, status-driven, status, that's a very American, sorry, status, status-driven level, um, who all are about wealth and class and privilege, and I feel like there's a disgust within her. Spirit draw me down to the sacral chakra, which is like, there's a, displ there's a displeasement, there's a there's a feeling of like nau nauseousness that I get with her of where she comes from, of her background. It makes her feel a bit sick. The privilege makes her feel a bit nauseous. And so she will do anything, I feel like, to avoid that. She's very, Spirit tells me, she's very charitable because her background does slightly disgust her. Spirit is making me feel that Cara Delevingne, because of the background she came from, she was exposed to a lot of just like... um discrimination but not discrimination against her but she witnessed adults around her being very discriminative against those who were less fortunate than her those who had less money than her those who were born in different areas than her those that were different races to her she's seen it all and it just didn't sit very well in her psyche and so she's grown up wanting to avoid where she comes from and so to be anything but that which is why we now have this extrovert very eccentric character because she is running from her roots and her roots are privileged british high societal high class lots of money that actually disgusts cara i feel and so which is why she is in the state spirit tell me which is why she surrounds herself in a completely different culture which is why she's very eccentric because she wants to be anything but those people that she was surrounded with in childhood it just disgust her and I feel like that's from a young age I feel like that was from a young age that she really felt that um okay whew. that came through so thick and fast I just really had to get that out there so there's a feeling with Cara Delevingne and I'm going to go to the cards now there's a feeling with Cara Delevingne of really not wanting to be alone I'm just going to scoot the light over so I can actually scoot up and I can actually shuffle the cards in the camera um, there's a feeling with Cara Delevingne of not wanting to be alone, okay? 
there's a real feeling with Cara Delevingne and I have already shuffled her energy into the deck. So yeah, there's a feeling uh, with Cara Delevingne of not wanting to be alone, wanting to be around people, uh, not really loving her own company or being with her own thoughts. Um, there's a little bit of like, I feel like Spirit is giving me the word torment. So I feel like if she was alone in her own mind, she would be tormented. I feel like there is a little bit of trauma from her childhood, um, more so in the way of being alone, which is why she doesn't want to be alone now as an adult. I feel like she was maybe left with a lot of nannies. I feel like maybe her parents were quite absent. Even if they were there, they weren't really there. And there's just a feeling of, well, I'm an adult now, so I don't really have to be alone, you know? Okay. Okay, there is, I do pick up on substance with Cara. I pick up on drugs. Um... I pick up on alcohol. I feel like she likes to... She goes through really up and down. Spirit is showing me like waves like this. I don't want to say she has... I know her mother has bipolar. I don't want to say she has that mental illness. But she definitely has up and down waves. So when she's low, she can be very depressive. And she can go really into like a dark um, hole. Um, and she could disappear. So this I feel like is will be a, a you know a common thing with Cara that we will see her come into the public and then she'll disappear, and we'll see her come into the public and she'll disappear. And it's because nothing's really steady with her. She's very up and down, and she has like these peaks where she's partying and drinking and do, and doing substance allegedly. I feel, and then she'll dip. She'll she'll have a come down, and she won't want to be anywhere. Okay, three more cards for Cara Delevingne, Spirit. Three more cards for Cara Delevingne. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two more cards for Cara Delevingne. Two more cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. One more card for Cara Delevingne. Final card. Oh. <laughs> I say every time, would it be a Cassie Lewis reading if a card did not fly out onto the floor? Okay. This, this make this makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. Like, the cards that have come out for her, like I said, she, she is multifaceted. She is two-dimensional. There is, like, two parts of her. There's the part that Spirit draw me to the sacral chakra that is inside. It's the part she doesn't want people to see. It's the privilege. It's the high class. It's the well-spokenness. It's the, it's the prim and proper. It's the privilege. She doesn't want people to see that. That's the inner bit of her. And then there's the outer bit of her, which is like, I'm just like you. I'm eccentric. You can like me. Please like me. You know, because I feel like in her past, people didn't like her because of her privilege. And she wanted to be liked by people. And I feel she still does want to be liked, which is why she has adopted this eccentric, behavior this is not an uncommon defense mechanism a lot of people do this you know when they really don't particularly want to show who they truly are they will adapt and adopt a different behavior a different way of being and I feel that is the same with Cara and like I said she goes through these dips these ebbs these flows we all do but for her I feel like it's extreme like she goes into extreme lows and extreme highs um, and I feel like right now she's on an extreme high Okay, Whew. right, <laughs> let's just bring down the energy because it is, it is very like intense, her energy, like it's very high and like, yeah, it's, it's a lot. So the first cards we got, they are coming through together. We have the three of cups. Let me just make sure you can see that on the camera. Yeah, three of cups and the page of pentacles. Okay. Three of Cups is a card of celebration, growth, healing. Page of Pentacles is a card of new financial beginnings. Please excuse the dog. My neighbours have a really noisy dog. <laughs> Please excuse that. Um, so yeah, Three of Cups is about healing. Page of Pentacles is about new financial beginnings. There is a new um, business venture that I feel Cara wants to walk down, which is why you're seeing her around people like Megan the Stallion because there's almost like a want to 
help women in the industry to be a kind of um, agency or to be like a manager or to be like a marketing person to try and promote other women's career because again her intention is absolutely pure it is I don't feel like there's any mean intention with Cara I feel like she's actually quite a very sweet soul she's a quite a soft soul but it comes from this deep insecurity of like this guilt, there's guilt there of, you know, the privilege that she does have. She's very aware of her privilege. She's very not, she, you know, she's not proud of it, to be honest. There's a bit of shame. There's a bit of guilt about where she comes from and what she has. She knows Page of Pentacles is also about youth and young age and early stages of life. She knows she comes from a, a, a foundation of wealth, okay? And she, I feel like she wants to give back. And I feel like she wants to give back to, to women in the industry. So I wouldn't be surprised if she does set up her own modelling agency, if she does set up her own PR firm, because there's something new that I feel like she wants to do as part of her own healing, as part of dealing with that, that, that icky feeling inside of her where she doesn't quite like where she comes from and she doesn't quite feel comfortable with all the privilege she has so to make that feel better to grow to expand to heal there's an energy of wanting to give back to start you know to do something fresh with her money to give back to be philanthropic that's very much a part of a part of her vibe and so I feel like you will probably see her around more females like Megan Thee Stallion Doja Cat you know she wants to be in that crowd because she wants to be like first of all she wants to be like hey I am just like you you know I know I come from this background but I am just like you please like me please accept me but also I feel like it makes her feel better about herself if she can help um females in the industry excel I feel like there's something in that. I feel like she is a girl's girl. I do feel like Cara Delevingne is a woman's woman. And I feel like she's very much about female empowerment. Very much about women thriving. Very much about um, gender equality. And I feel like, you know, more so over the next few years, we will see her push that. I don't follow Cara Delevingne, so she may already have been pushing that. Okay. Again, the next two cards very much um, reflect what I've already picked up on. Four of uh, Wands is about security stability um this usually talks about home life and the nine of cups is a card that is representative of female abundance she really is about that female energy of wanting to create security and stability for females and i do see as i connect in with this card although there's not really like romantic or love uh, relationship cards here i do pick up on a long-term relationship coming up for Cara Delevingne with another woman. I feel like it will be quite a high profile relationship. There could be a marriage, there could be an engagement. I see this going long term. I feel that could come in the next three years for Cara Delevingne. Spirit also wants it so, so much is coming through for her because I feel like a lot is going on in her life right now. I feel like she is transitioning, she is changing. We have got the death card here, which is all about natural endings and transitions. And with that, I do want to say that Cara Delevingne is coming up to the ending of her Saturn return. Now, I am not an astro astrological um, expert, but on my own journey, I have looked into Saturn return. I have now been through my own Saturn return, and I do know that when you go through Saturn return, you have a little bit of a breakdown to break through, and you become a kind of new version of yourself, taking everything you learned from your earlier years through your teenage years, your 20s, leaving behind and healing what no longer served you and moving through your next phase, um, bringing forward what you, you know, what you actually want to um, achieve and what you want your life to be like going forward. So she's definitely in that phase. She's definitely in that Saturn return period and it's definitely not an easy phase to be in. So let's just give her a little bit of grace and leeway because she's probably having a teensy wincy bit of a breakdown. Just a tinsy wincy one. Okay. Um, but yes, I do see a high profile relationship with a woman. This may actually be a little bit of an older woman. I kind of get, not not crazily older, but Spirit is giving me like Ellen DeGeneres and her partner. I can't remember what her partner's called. Um, but I feel like there will be a, maybe a little bit of an age gap. But with that, because Four of Wands is about that secure, stable, settled um, energy... I feel like this woman will bring that into Kara's life, that it will settle her down a little bit because like I said, she's avoiding herself. She's being completely extrovert to run from her roots. 
and I feel like this relationship will allow her to to come back to herself and for, uh, blah, blah, blah. nine of cups is a feminine abundance card this is about wealth happiness love having everything having everything you could dream of and i do feel that they will have that in the relationship that she is going to go into okay next we move into very masculine energy which is interesting so we have the king of cups and the king of swords Okay, it's really kind of reflecting to me, there's two messages that really come through these two cards, okay, or maybe three, there's three messages. The first message is really that Cara Delevingne is very in her masculine, which is interesting because even though she is very full uh, females, very for women, she's very in her masculine energy and we all have masculine and we all have feminine energy and it, you know, we, we need to try and balance the two but I feel like Cara is very, 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 very in her masculine but interestingly, the kings that we have here are the king of cups and the king of swords. These are two contrasting kings. The king of cups is probably the most feminine king that we have. That's the real feminine masculine energy. That's the soft masculine. And king of swords is the firm masculine, the defensive. And so here's that duality that I said she holds. And I feel like I'm speaking so fast. I'm just gonna have some water because the energy is fast paced. The energy is very fast paced with Kara, like it's coming through so fast. But that's her, she's constantly on the go. She doesn't like to slow down, she doesn't like to be alone, she doesn't like to be in stillness, she likes to constantly be doing things. She can't sit still, there's a fidgety energy with her, like she has a lot of energy. And these two kings here, they are very representative of her duality. She has that soft masculine energy, but she also can be quite um, bold and put herself out there and overly confident. So she's got, she's got those two, um, that, that duality. There's, there's, you know, there's, mo you know, we're all multifaceted, but with, we're talking about Kara, she definitely has that duality of energy. And there is also a male energy that I pick up around her. Now, I don't feel like this is a particular male. I feel like this comes to relationships with men cups energy is all about relationships love um emotions and swords energy is all about communication um protection uh defensiveness strength there is a fear of being intimate with men and i said there was three messages that come through the first is her duality the second is this fear of intimacy with men and the third is her relationship with her father and she has a fear of intimacy with men. I believe Cara Delevingne is bisexual. She has a fear of intimacy with men because of her relationship with her dad and because of, I feel like, however her family dynamic was in her childhood. And there is just something that I feel she holds where she feels she can love men and she could be in a relationship with a man, but there's a feeling of always having to have your guard up and not really feeling completely safe or protected or your heart being really held in a way that she would need it to be. And that's what comes through there. And so she's out here. She's <laughs> very say she's out here. She is gonna be out here for a while. I feel like there's gonna be a few more stories maybe about Cara Delevingne. I feel like we're gonna see her with a few more um, females. Um, I feel like we may hear about this profile, this high profile relationship. And then when we move towards the end of her transition, the end of her Saturn return, we have death and the hermit. Death is all about natural transitions. Death is a natural part of life. You know, in life, things are constantly dying and being birthed. We as humans are constantly rebirthing ourselves and going through transitions and phases. And she is in the midst of her Saturn return. She's in the midst of moving out of her 20s. She's in the midst of um, letting go and shedding that those old parts of her that you know, maybe don't serve her anymore, that aren't aligned with her. And the thing is, is when we're in the midst of transition, when we're in the midst of shedding, it can be so messy. And we can act crazy. We can do crazy things. We can act out of character because we're lost. When we're shedding, we're not who we used to be, but we're not yet who we were. And so we're lost. We're lost in the midst of that. And I feel that that's where she is. And so she's out here. She's trying to make new friends. She's trying to try new things. She's just in the midst of transition. 
Okay, so just give her a little bit of ease and grace. She's harmless. I really do feel she's harmless. I feel she means well. And then she'll disappear again. <laughs> because the hermit is about retreating inward and following your own light. Okay, it's about going within and following your own light. And it's about isolation and disappearing and being a hermit. You know, hermits go into isolation and they disappear and you don't see them. She's out here doing all of this being extroverted in this midst of transition, being a bit messy, being here, there and everywhere because she's avoiding and then when she goes through this transition she will disappear again and she'll pull back because that's you know natural part of life. Spirit is actually drawing me to this picture here and they're showing me waves. Just as waves of the ocean go out and they come in and they go out and they come in, we are exactly the same. And we ebb and we flow, we go out, we come in, we go out, we come in. And just as she's out at the moment, exploring, experimenting, seeking, finding answers, discovering, trying to find herself, it's looking messy as waves do as they wash upon the ocean, but she will pull back and she will disappear again. <laughs> So that's, I actually really love that. What a lovely, lovely energy. Very intense, very high paced, very high energy. But she's got a good heart. She's got a good heart and I feel like her intentions are pure. And as Cara Delevingne ages, I feel like we will only see her do more charitable work. It may come from a place of insecurity, but her intentions are good. So I do hope you enjoyed that reading, lovelies. Please do hit a lovely thumbs up if you did. If you haven't joined our lovely community already, please do subscribe to do so. If you'd like your own personal and private reading with me, I do offer those only on my website, www.kirstylewis.com. You can follow me over on Instagram at I am Kirsty Lewis if you'd like to. And I will see you soon for another video, lovelies. Bye!